Hi, and welcome to SketchUp Quick Tips. Today we're looking at the SketchUp 2013 newest release. So, to confuse us all, old SketchUp Free is now SketchUp Make. SketchUp Pro is now called SketchUp. But as everybody knows, I'm a big advocate of what you can do with the free version, so that's the one that we're looking at today. So the biggest changes are somebody decided to color in their icons up here. I'm not a huge fan of it. Um, but the biggest thing and that we're going to be talking about today and the biggest addition to functionality is something called the Extension Warehouse. It's under Window, Extension Warehouse, and here it opens up. So before we've talked about uh, plugins, extensions, here they call them add-ons for SketchUp. And basically what they were were little bits of programming written in RubyScript, which Google made available to all programmers and they extended the functionality of SketchUp, almost like an app for an iPad. But before, it was kind of a mystery about where you found them, how you use them, how you downloaded them. In fact, um, if you look back, I've got another um, video called Material Placer, which talks about how to actually go out, Google search, find something and download it. But they were all different and they were all floating around, so they weren't used as much as they could be. So I think SketchUp was pretty smart and said, hey, if we just gathered all these, put them in our warehouse, it's going to extend the functionality of SketchUp, and um, we're not paying for it. <laughs> so here it is. So the other thing to remember is it's definitely still a work in progress. It says there's 155 extensions, but there's hundreds of extensions out there floating, um, and many of my favorites have not seemed to made it their way to the extension warehouse. Uh, the good thing, however, is that SketchUp has actually co curated um, what's going to go in here because there's a lot of bad um, plugins floating around. So you know once they're in here and I'm suspecting that uh, more and more developers are going to go through the process of getting their plugins added to the warehouse so I think it's going to quickly build over time and also if you look at um, a lot of the plugins right now there's no reviews written for them where there's space for those to be added later. So they have plugins divided up by industries. We're just going to look at the interior design to start with. So before, if you were using a plugin, you had to find the code and somehow go to your program files and insert it exactly into the right place or it wouldn't show up in SketchUp. And even then, sometimes you never knew. So now all we have to do is go find the one we want. I'm going to show you a couple different ones because they have download a little differently it seems like depending on whether SketchUp or someone else has made them. So first we're going to go to Sandbox Tools and these are great um, for anyone working with landscape contours um, outside of a building though you can also use them to make folds and um, maybe a bed sheet or folds in a curtain or any time you need some kind of undulating curves. So if I click on this, so I've actually already signed in, but if you haven't it's going to give you a little sign in thing and it's going to say we're going to collect your information and if you say no they say goodbye. Um, but anyway, all I have to do is click install. It says, uh, can I install it? I'm going to say yes and it says it's installed and I have to go to see it I'm going to go to view toolbars and here it says sandbox so sometimes you have to actually click if it's a toolbar that you want it and now it's showing up so that was kind of a unique um, extension plugin because it's something that was already created by SketchUp so it um, already had an icon and a toolbar associated with it. Uh, more often than not, that's not going to be the way that it happens. So we're going to look for another plugin called Rename. Where is it? Rename Component Instances. So if I click on this and I click Install, and it gives you a little um, information for most of them about how they work, and you can see. Um, that there's space to post a review down here. So far there's zero reviews like I was talking about earlier, but hopefully as people download it and use them, there'll be more reviews so you can figure out uh, which are the best plugins for you. But let's go ahead and click install. Say 
yes again. Say yes again. And it says it's now available for your use. So where is this one at? So under plugins, you can see rename component instances is now listed under the plugin file. And that's where most of the plugins are going to end up and where you'll find them at. So what are we going to do with this? Well, here is the newest SketchUp guy. If you click on him and go to Entity Info, I right-clicked, went to Entity Info. We can see his name is Derek. Susan is now gone. I'm hopefully she's uh, happily retired in the Bahamas. And uh, Derek is a hard-working guy who's taken over. So if I go to Plugins and click Rename Component Instances, and you see I have this little RCI attached to my cursor, if I double-click on him, I'm going to say, I want his name to be Don, and click OK. And you'll see the component's name is now Don. So perhaps that isn't too helpful to us renaming the people populating our models. But where this uh, can be really helpful is when you want to really clarify what a component is in a model for your benefit and probably for the other benefit of people looking at it. So for example, if you have tried a bunch of windows out in a living room or have been um, editing them, you can say final living room window. Or you could name a component by KitchenAid, the model numbered it is. Um, so this can be really helpful in helping you organize your components and helping other people understand what's there. So play around with all the different uh, extensions that you can find in the new extension warehouse. And uh, I'll keep you updated as I add some of my favorites. Have a great day.